Hey, 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 what's up, good people? Shelby here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for coming to visit me and hang out with me, and I have the most exciting news. Guess what your girl got her hands on this past week? It came in my mail, and I was like, I'm so excited. Like, I ordered it for myself, but I was still like super, super excited. I got, I got, the, I got that Woma, okay? I think I'm saying it right, Woma, the Say What Foundation. This foundation is coming from a sister. It is black owned, it is woman owned, and it apparently is fabulous. It may have the best shade range with six different undertones and the best set of concealers, okay? And a contour stick. I'm gonna drop something, I can tell already. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! So we are going to hop into this video. I'm excited because there are a lot, a lot of awesome claims made by this brand. They have what appears to be maybe one of the most inclusive shade ranges. I'm gonna aim for using products along with the Woma products that are vegan, cruelty-free, and or woman-owned. I've got a really good collection of those things and I gotta say, I'm really excited to show this look to you. Uh, if you would like to see the look that I come up with and see my review of this foundation and the things that come with it, you first need to stay tuned, don't touch that dial. But two, go down to the bottom, become a subscriber, hit like, hit comment, hit subscribe, hit the little bell button so that you get the notifications so that YouTube don't try to play me so you don't know when I post stuff because I know they be doing that, like I'm not really here for that. And I know neither are you. Uh, and uh, let's just hop into the video. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go in and I'm gonna prime my eyes. And I'm actually gonna use my concealer, Woma, and this bad boy is, is called Woke Concealer, AKA Stay Woke, okay? And uh, I am in the shade Venus Bronze T1. So reading from the Ulta website, the Stay Woke Luminous Brightening Concealer, it comes in 17 shades and it has, I believe, six, Yes, six undertones, okay? It is supposed to be a creamy, smooth texture, full coverage, thin, skin-like finish, long-lasting, formulated without parabens, talc, or D5, fragrance-free, vegan, and cruelty-free. Now, these are really, really high claims. Um, so let's see what happens. I'm recording this in the early afternoon, so it's likely that I'll be able to do an eight-hour wear test for you. I can stay up, I could do it. I might be sleepy, but I'll still hang in there just for you. Going in with my eyes, I'm actually gonna go in with the Safari Rain palette. Uh, I think you may have seen my review on this bad boy. It's really, really beautiful. Safari Rain comes from the Colored Rain collection and is woman owned, black owned. It is not all vegan and cruelty free, but you can filter on the site to see which things are and which things aren't. This palette happens to be cruelty free, but it's not vegan. So that's a call out. However, I haven't seen anyone say that they've had any issues using this gorgeous palette. I've already done my review on this bad boy, so I'm really just gonna kind of go in and make myself happy. Uh, I am going to start out with clay. After clay, I'm gonna go in with matriarch, which is the darkest color in this palette. And yes, I am using the same brush, and no, I have no shame. Next, I'm gonna go into, gonna go into Toucan, which is this really beautiful, gonna go into Toucan, it's this really beautiful gold, kind of um, bronzy color. It's, it's, it's to die for, truly, I promise you. I'm gonna go in with a flat brush and just put this all over my lid and actually up into my crease. Oh, <laughs> yes. Uh, this is dry. This is completely dry. Are you ready? Oh my God. Next, going in with a flat brush, I'm gonna go into Amazon Basin, which is this color right here. It's kind of a guilty, no, actually. I'm gonna go in with a Green Valley, which is this color right there. And I'm gonna line the top part of this crease. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Lollipop Liner from Beauty Bakery, it's in the shade Black. This is also woman-owned, black-owned, and uh, cruelty-free, and I believe vegan also. I'm 
Okay, so first of all, why didn't anybody tell me that this liner was so amazing? Like, I feel like people have been talking about it and they've been wearing it, but nobody was like, sis, go get the lollipop liner from Beauty Bakery. Like, it wasn't on a billboard. Nobody had it, like, you know, on a plane flying by telling me, hey, you know, go buy this liner. It's going to save your life. Nobody did that. And I feel that that is rude. Uh, while my lashes are drying, I'm going to go in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm just going to give my lashes a little bit of a coat. Nothing crazy. Um, just so I can see them. Um, so first thing I'm going to go in with for my primer while my lashes dry is the No Blim Primer from Touch of Soul. And this actually is also vegan and cruelty free. Uh, and I did not realize that it was, that it was. Um, it's a great primer. It leaves you with a kind of a silicone-y kind of a feel. Um, and it just, it's it's great to know. And I didn't know when I got it, because I got it in a, in a box, I think. I didn't know when I got it that it was, you know, cruelty-free, vegan, and all these other things. Um, but it's nice to know that there's so many brands that are doing that, that even though we don't know they're doing it, no, they're doing it and that it's healthy for us or healthier than just you know fresh air and sunshine you know it's just <laughs> it's just there so lashes are on and again these are the safari rain lashes from colored rain and sis sis they are oh they're everything i won't say that they've taken over in my heart from the baddie b lashes because that would be um, possibly sacrilege. I'm not sure yet because, you know, I love those bad boys. But these are like, these are a close second, honestly. Honestly, honestly. Yes, okay. So, the main event. I'm going to go in with the Woma Say What Foundation and then follow that up with the Stay Woke. See how it says woke on the side, like an alarm clock? Stay Woke Concealer. And this is in the shade, let's see, Bronze Venus T1. And then my foundation is in Brown Sugar T1N. And the T1N is for neutral. As a reminder, this foundation has 51 shades. The concealer has 17. They have six different undertones. They're color-coded by the top. I believe that T stands for toffee, I want to say. Um, and actually, let's, let's read the claims real quick. The concealer comes in 17 shades. Uh, and uh, they range from... The lightest shade, lightest shade is white pearl. The deepest shade in the concealer is black pearl, and that's for dark brown skin. Foundation, which is available on the Uoma site and also on the Ulta site, is $39. It comes in one fluid ounce. It's called the Say What Foundation. There are 51 shades, and there are six undertones. So those are the claims. Uh, and I'm excited to hop in. I did already prime my face, as I said. So I'm going to go in with the Say What Foundation, again, in Brown Sugar T1N. Um, and I'm going to apply, let's see, I will do my beauty blender on one side, and I'll do a brush on the other side, a kabuki brush. But does the color like me? <laughs> This is a little darker and I think it's just, it's slightly more maybe orange or a little bit like, I don't hate to say orange because orange to me tends to pull like really drastic. It's not a drastic difference of color, but it's not the color I usually wear, but I do, you, I usually do go darker with my foundation because when I get done powdering, it ends up lightening it up. Um, so yeah, see it's not, I'm not mad at it. I feel like I'm a little bit more gold. This is a little bit more orange, but I could, I, let, let's finish the face and see what it looks like. It's not full coverage. I feel like I could, I could build it if I wanted to, but you can see the color difference here. It's not drastic. It's not an unflattering color difference, but it's not exactly my shade. That being said, finish on this. Look at that. It's glowy, even though I don't have anything on under it. And I feel like it's, it's dried down. That's it. It's down there. Wow. Okay. First impressions are I'm impressed. If there's a better match for me, I can go find it. But right now, I would, I would wear this. I would legit wear this. This kabuki brush from Snaya Kashuk. Yeah, that coverage. Oh, look at the finish. 
the finish on this is gorgeous. If this stays, like, I, I could wear this color, for real. I, I mean, I can return it to Ulta, but I could wear this color. But um, uh, it's, it's a really rich, gorgeous color. Like, somebody thought this out, fam. They thought it out. Oh, and I double-checked the site. <laughs> I have been saying it wrong. It's Oma, not Uoma. It's Oma. And it's an Igbo, which is the tribal group that the founder comes from. I was right, though, about the meaning. It does mean beautiful. Which, let's face it, this foundation truly, truly is. It looks like a, it, it doesn't, it looks good. I am I like this. <laughs> this looks good. Uh, and it has, it has dried down. I don't know if I would have to set this. I usually would, but I don't think I'd have to. Now, uh, I, since I'm not a full coverage girl, I'm not going to add a whole nother layer because that's just not, it's not really my life. But I think this is buildable. I think you could totally go up and like, Go hard. If you're like a full coverage girl, I think this Oma will give it to you. Uh, next up, you know how much I love highlighting. I'm going to go in and highlight, but I also have a double ended contour stick. Okay, this bad boy. Uh, let me add a color swatch of the highlight on my hand, in the back of my hand. There. She light, but I mean, I ain't really that dark, so I guess I should let that go. Uh, going in with the double-ended, let's see, what's it called? I think there are six of these. The Double Take Sculpt and Strobe Duo Stick in Bronze. These are categorized by your undertone, and then they also come in a couple different shades. And all the products have a number on them, so like the foundation has a one, the concealer has a two, the contour product has a three. So one side is the contour, which is that color. She's yummy. Oh, and then the other side is the strobe or the cream highlight. <gasps> Look at how pretty that's gonna be on my face. Gonna be on my face. <laughs> so let's see how much product you get. Okay, that's how much. Oh, okay. All right, this is giving me like Fenty vibes. It's still going. Okay, yes, that is how much product you get. Okay. Yes, I am here for this. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the concealer, highlighting, brightening concealer. And uh, supposed to be full coverage, skin light, and long wearing. And with a clean point on the beauty blender, let's start, let's start in the middle. Oh, oh, she disappeared. Oh, she disappeared. <laughs> Look at that, oh, it's like melting into the skin, but it's not like gone, if that makes sense. Like, look at my forehead. It looks perfectly highlighted, but it's not, um, it's not excessive for how bright this highlight is. I'm just gonna use the bottom of the Beauty Blender to go over my edge so I don't have too much craziness. Wow, this is, that's pretty. Okay, I do think I could have benefited for some color corrector underneath the eye. Like, I left the foundation away from my under eye. One, because I don't like it to be too cakey under there. But two, because I wanted to see if it would take care of the little bit of darkness that I do have under there. It's a little bit of discoloration. It's kind of gray. And it's covering it, but I can still, I can still kind of see it. So I might go over this one more time. I feel like we just need to take a moment of silence for every brand that has not made this much effort and they've been in the market for years. Sis just launched. She just launched. Look at my face. Look at my face. Let's have a moment of silence. That was long enough. Okay. They're dead. They're dead. I'm not saying they're canceled, but I'm saying like, if this stays, fam, like if, I don't, mm, even if it don't stay, if I look this good for at least an hour and a half, I feel like my day has been accomplished. Is that wrong? Might be wrong. I don't know. Don't tell anybody I said that. Anyway. Okay, so that made me brighter, but it also added some of the coverage that I thought I needed. And yeah, I'm not I'm not seeing much of that darkness. I see a little bit of it. So this might be one where I have to color correct, but since I also don't tend to go for full, full coverage, it it's kind of a trade-off, I guess. Next, let's hit up this stick right here. Let's see which end am I looking for? Looking for that end. It's a little. I'm not trying to go crazy. Go ahead and do this job. Oh my god, this this stick is so buttery. I remember one of the complaints that people had about Fenty was that it um you had to warm up the product on the back of your hand. 
this is like this is like literally rubbing warm butter down the side of your face it's it is it's gonna work it's gonna work i'm gonna do one side with the blender and the other side with a brush we'll just keep it consistent i think it was this side with a blender let's see if it'll blend yup Ooh, cut it cut it cut it skip cut it the contour color definitely does have a red undertone now that's something that I like. I know some people don't, but I like that. The concealer feels like it's dried down, but I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little hit, a little hit. I'm gonna go in with the Fenty, uh, Fenty Pro Filter Powder and Banana and Hazelnut. Hazelnut's gonna go on the darker parts of my face. Banana powder's gonna go on the interior. So flipping it over, I'm going to go in for the highlighted portion of this lovely little stick situation. And I'm going to, okay, it's very creamy. It's not super pigmented. Well, it's pigmented, but it's not like overwhelming. It's going to give me a nice natural glow. The shade reminds me of um, Amrez. Ooh, yes. Put myself a little hair wrap on, you know, and some earrings and uh, a little bit of chapstick because lips were dry. And under my eye, I went in and just put pretty much every color that we had on the upper lid, on the lower lid. I'm going to go ahead and add some Better Than Sex to my lower lashes. So if I didn't mention, this head wrap is from Lola's African Apparel, which is available online and is available in the Berkeley Bay Area if you are a local to where I'm local. Uh, these head wraps are, are about 20 bucks. Um, there are some that are full size and some that are smaller. They're all really beautiful patterns. They are great quality as in washable, put them in the dryer, iron them, don't lose their shape, don't lose their colors, keep that crunchy stiffness that are so important for head wraps so you can get that body. I'll put the link down in the comments below so that you can go check out her stuff. She also sells full blown African traditional and contemporary clothes. So and since we're talking about black owned, woman owned beauty products, my head wraps are considered beauty products to me. So yeah. Anyways, going in with the Ellery collab from ColourPop. ColourPop is vegan and cruelty free. They're not black or woman owned, but it's supporting a black woman. So I'm going to go with it. I'm going to line my lips with this. And then we'll go in with the Lippy also from Oma. Packaging thus far has been incredible, but this little turquoise metallic bullet of a package is just everything to me. I love brightly colored, shiny stuff that I get to put on my face. <gasps> Don't you? Don't everybody? Oh, look. Oh, she's pretty. Look at that. Look. Oh. Not completely see through, but. Not 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 opaque either. This is this is pretty. Give me one more hit. What do we think? I think I think this is gorgeous. First of all, second of all, this lip gloss. I might I might need like five or six more of these. So there are eight shades of the marble gloss from from Oma Oma Oma. Uh, huh. Her tagline says, "Boss, wake up, kick ass, repeat." Yeah, okay, I'll sign up for that. Uh, so first thoughts, I think that the message, the visuals, the branding that the that they are trying to convey is incredible. It's inclusive, it's well thought out, the colors look good, and I gotta say, having them on, I feel really good about supporting the brand. Uh, the packaging is amazing. This is glass, plastic, plastic, and then some kind of space age metal turquoise majesty um the packaging is incredible i feel like i spent money on quality products even though that's not the only indicator it helps you feel good about what you bought um second thing i do not think that you give up quality of a product when you have something that is vegan cruelty free or just in general non-toxic you don't give up quality you just have to find the brands and i would say Walmart's oma I'm going to get it right. I would say Oma is one of those brands that's worth it. As far as what it looks like on my face, I feel like it looks incredible. We'll see how it holds up for the next couple hours. I started putting on my makeup at about 
2.30 and I think I finished my foundation probably around like three. So hmm, no, is that right? Yeah, we'll say three uh, that I finished my, my foundation application. So I'll come back probably around like 10 or so and tell you what I think. If it ain't cracking at seven hours, it's not gonna be cracking at nine or 12. So that's a good check-in. Um, so yeah. Oh, and the, the gloss is is like legit. And the way that this concealer melted into my skin though and paired with the foundation of which there are 51 shades, remind you, 51 shades. Uh, I mean, that's incredible. So let's see. Let's see if the sass and the say what can hang in there. And we'll come back and see what we think. So final thoughts. I think actually this foundation is, it's kind of amazing. I'm looking at it in the mirror and uh, it still looks really good. The coloring and the consistency of the foundation, the wear looks really good. It still looks a little bit radiant. I don't have like, I don't have like any oil right now. I'm not super oily, but I have like no oil, um, no shine. I will say that the areas where I have dark spots and also places where I touch my face, I did lose some of the coverage, but I noticed that it doesn't seem to be transferring at, like, at all. Um, even the contour stick, this uh, double-ended uh, strobe and, uh, let's see, and sculpt, this, this little goodie right here, uh, it didn't transfer either. It didn't move. So I feel good about it. I do feel like I in the areas where I tend to like soak up color or where uh, my dark spots are, they show up through like here, I have some darkness and there's some here too, but there's also just natural like shaping of my face along with the makeup. So overall, I mean, I would legit wear this again. And, and when it's all said and done, I feel like coloring wise, this is a really good fit for me. Um, the eyes held up, the lashes are still on, but they are definitely about to come off because your girl is tired. Um, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you think that it looks better, looks worse. If you think it failed, Shelby, you're missing the whole point um, and you're totally off base. You can let me know that. I can take it down in the comments. Uh, but um, yeah, let me know also if you have tried this foundation, if you're going to try this foundation um, and what your thoughts are. Just let me know down in the comments. Um, and most importantly, if you are still here, if you hung out with me, for seven hours, well, not seven whole hours, but you know, uh, you should be a part of my family. You should already be subscribed. You should be hitting the like button. You should be leaving me comments. We should be chatting about your weekend plans. You know, are you, you know, team Danny or team John, you know, if you're a GOT fan, cause everybody should be a GOT fan. And if you're not, then like, why? Like, tell me why, tell me that down in the comments. Anyways, um, thank you so much for watching. and. Ciao for now.